So dear friends, who wants to become the uh, political leader? Who wants to become a politician? In Sri Lanka, for example, I think nobody of you need to become a politician, right? So here in this video, I'm going to talk about, uh, basically I'm going to talk about the, the leadership in the uh, if you want to become a politician or if you become a before you want to become a politician you want to become a good leader you should be a good leader right so uh, i'm going to talk about six pillars six pillars of the leadership right so these things actually very important things and uh, focus on these personality traits and you will be unrecognizable in your in your in your journey right so first thing is, uh, first thing we talk about the self-awareness, right? Actually, what is the self-awareness? Uh, when it comes to the self-awareness, if you have these six pillars, uh, these six categories, these six things, right? Six reasons you will can be a good re be good leader, and you can be a good person. I mean, I mean, good leadership, improve your leadership. You can be a good manager, and you can be a good CEO. Even a politician, you can be a good tradition right uh, here are those things uh, here are those self-awareness actually self-awareness means to discover who you are by exploring and your mind and heart and soul and the body heart soul and the body and self-awareness is a key to unlock your potential right so self-awareness and actually some ways to practice self-awareness you can say journaling meditation uh, reflective questioning and a long time this is all about the self-awareness right and when it comes to the uh, second pillar uh, second uh, category uh, accountability accountability also much more important much more uh, such an important role it plays in when it comes to the leadership right accountability means your own actions and their outcomes right accountability helps you to grow as a person and earn the respect from others right and accountability matters for the reaching goals and results and building trust and relationships and the learning from the mistakes i like more mostly i like learning from the mistakes right because in my life also i have made a lot of mistakes so everybody's life they uh, they made a lot of mistakes right so it's all about that and also by practicing accountability you can be uh, change, charge your actions, change your actions as well, right? And the number three is uh, about the integrity. Integrity is to be honest and uh, consistent in your words, man of a word, and actions as well, right? So the integrity uh, means builds your reputation and the character. Those are very important things, right? Integrity is viral for the trust and credibility and ethical decisions making and self-respect and inner harmony it's a vital integrity is vital for three things three things basically three things i would rather to say basic is basic three things are trust and credibility ethical decisions are making and self-respect and inner harmony right and when it, how do you improve your integrity you can define your values number one and keep defined uh, keep your promises and practice transparency practice transparency define your values and keep your promises that's more important thing and when it comes to the number four self-discipline very very important i'm saying you these things are very highly highly important things right when it comes to self-discipline it's a master of peace and the master of art to prioritizing tasks and managing Type effectively and stay committed to your goals and self-discipline is a secret of achieving long-term success right there are three ways it says it teaches there are it taught us there are three ways to boost self-discipline like a create a routine and take a, a call showers and uh, try uh, intermittent intermittent uh, fasting very important. I think uh, all of among all of these, the most important thing is the self discipline, right? And resilience. How to recover? How do you uh, 
how do you balance your resilience that's also very important resilience means resilience to learn to recover from setbacks adjust to change and uh, stay optimistic in a such uh, in the face of challenges learn to recover from uh, from setbacks adjust to change and uh, staying optimistic in the face of challenges right resilience is a uh, is essential for outcoming at adver- uh, adversity mental emotion and uh, mental and emotional well being and uh, these two three, three things uh, and to boost your resil- resilience how to pre- uh, how to boost your resilience you can uh, cultivate your growth mindset number one and uh, practice adaptability and also meditation you can do it in meditation practice adaptability and the problem solving practice adaptability and the problem solving right this is very important and when it comes to the empathy the last one of this scenario all this scenario the last one is the developing the empathy so uh, let us talk about the empathy uh, develop the skills of understanding and sharing the feelings of others this is called empathy kind of emotional intelligence empathy improves your relationships and communication and overall emotional intelligence right so enhance your empathy you can actively think practice empath uh, empathy communication and practice emotional awareness right three things active listening practice empathy communication and practice emotional awareness these things actually i i feel these things we have to uh, we have to teach to our parliament parliamentary sessions we have to we have to teach to those people the, to the politicians so we are in a lack of the leadership and lack of empathy uh, lack of lack of uh, political good politi- political leaders in our country right so now we know everybody knows now what is the political uh, politicians what they are doing and everybody know about it now so uh, nobody can fool the people now thanks god nobody can fool the people now so this is all about our uh, video today again i will review you empathy resilience and number 3 self discipline number 4 integrity and number 5 accountability and number 6 is the self awareness meditation is most important thing religious perspectives also through the religious perspectives also we can build up the leadership every religion is a good uh, i'm not sticking to any one uh, any of those but uh, every religion is good i but i feel right journaling meditation resp- uh, reflective questioning and a lot time so how do you build the uh, how you can build the self awareness so this is all about our video i uh, wish you have a great day and uh, we will see another see you in another great video bye bye